In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for CH2CH2. This is also written as C2H4, and it's called ethene. It's the same thing, just written a little bit differently. So the first thing we need to do is count up the valence electrons so we can draw the Lewis structure for CH2CH2. So we have the periodic table here organized where the groups show us how many valence electrons we have for these core elements. We skip the transition metals. So we find carbon. Carbon's right here in group 14, sometimes called 4A. It has four valence electrons. So for carbon, four valence electrons. And then for hydrogen, right here in group 1, it has one valence electron, just like all the elements in group 1. So we have one, but we have these two hydrogens. So multiply that by two, and then again, four plus one times two. And that gives us a total of 12 valence electrons for the CH2CH2 Lewis structure. So we'll put the least electronegative element at the center, and we'll always put hydrogen on the outside when we draw Lewis structures. So let's just put our two carbons here, and then let's put hydrogens around them. And we could have put them on the top or on the bottom here doesn't matter right now just for drawing the Lewis structure. So we have 12 total valence electrons. So we put electrons between atoms, and that forms the chemical bond. So we have 12 electrons. Let's put them between atoms. We've used 10 electrons, 10 of our valence electrons. We only have two more left, so we'll just put those up here. So this is the Lewis structure at this point. We've used all our valence electrons, and we don't have any more. This carbon right here has eight valence electrons. That's very stable. Each hydrogen has two. That's all it needs to be stable. This carbon right here only has six, so we've got a bit of a problem. What we can do is move this pair of electrons here, and that would form a double bond. So now each hydrogen has two. That's good. This carbon here, it has two, four, six, eight. It has its octet still. This carbon here, two, four, six, eight, it has an octet, and we're done. This is the Lewis structure for CH2, CH2. So by forming that double bond, we're sharing more, and that lets us have octets on both carbons. Often you'll see the Lewis structure written like this here to show the double bond with the single lines and then the single bonds, and that the hydrogens will be spread out like this. If you looked at the molecular geometry, this is what it would look like. The blacks are carbons, the whites are hydrogens. So this is the shape of the molecule, which we don't fully get just by drawing the Lewis structure. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for CH2CH2. Thanks for watching.